everyone, TPS Miner here. Welcome back to the TPS Miner channel. Today's video, we're going to talk about mining Flux using a 2060 6 gigabyte graphics card. So we're going to start here on the Flux website, run on flux.io. And there's a lot of great information here, um, information about deploying an app, launching a node, uh, GPU mining. And we're most interested in our GPU mining today. So the first thing we're going to need to do is get a wallet set up. So we're going to be using a Zellcore wallet. So we're going to jump to the Zellcore website. And the website here is zellcore.io. And if we click on try it now, it takes us down to the option to download a Zellcore wallet, uh, either on Windows, Mac, or Linux. I already have a Zellcore wallet set up, so I'm not going to walk through the step by step. But uh, go ahead and get your wallet set up, and then we will hop on over and take a look at mining pools. So miningpoolstats.stream, and I have Flux selected here. And you can see we have a large number of mining pools to select from. I'm personally using minerpool.org currently, but I am concerned the pool hash rate is about 52% of the overall network hash rate. So there is a susceptibility to a 51% attack. And for that reason, once I receive my next payout from minerpool.org, I am going to be looking for another mining pool. Uh, the most important thing to look at when you're selecting a mining pool for Flux is to make sure they are paying out parallel assets. That's a very important element of mining Flux. And it looks like there are several other options here that do pay parallel assets. So we'll be looking at switching our mining pool. But for right now, we are using minerpool.org. So as of today, right now, uh, today is January 31st, 2022. The price of Flux is $1.53, and we have seen a recent uh, decline in the overall difficulty. Uh, so again, just a few stats on Flux. So let's hop over to Hive OS and let's take a look at our setup for the 2060. So I am using MiniZ as my mining software and been running for about an hour and a half now. And you can see RTX 2060, 6 gigabyte Zotac. We're getting 28.22 solutions per second at 69 watts. So pretty efficient for a 2060 on flux. So the overclocks we have, we have the core clock locked at 1050, memory clock at plus 2400. If you're mining in Windows, that would be plus 1200. Our power limit is set to zero because we're controlling the power consumption using the locked core clock. So 28.22 solutions per second at 71 watts. This number is fluctuating between 68 and 72. So we're gonna hop over to what to mine and punch in some numbers and let's do a comparison. So what I've done, I put in the uh, hash rate that I'm getting on Ethereum. So 33.71 mega hash at 71 watts in Ethereum. And we're getting 28.2 solutions per second at 70 watts on Flux. So let's hit calculate. Uh, for reference, the current price of Ethereum is $2,675. And as we mentioned, the price of Flux is currently $1.53. And I'm using a 10 cent electricity rate. And what we see here is that we're getting a daily profit after electric costs of $1.19 on Ethereum and only 55 cents per day after electricity on Flux. But I'm not concerned right now about my daily profit. What I'm concerned about right now is efficiency. So when I look at the efficiency of this card on Ethereum, the efficiency is about 0.5. 475, I believe, uh, is where I'm sitting on Ethereum, which is an extremely efficient card on Ethereum. But my efficiency on Flux is also quite high. It's 0 0.41. So when I'm looking for a graphics card right now, knowing that Ethereum is going to be moving from proof of work to proof of stake sometime in the future, in the near future, I'm looking at a card that's going to be profitable now and efficient now on Ethereum and also be efficient on something else after Ethereum moves to proof of work, proof of stake. And this 2066 gigabyte card checks that box 
when it comes to flux. So the current price point on these graphics cards right now, they are available at my local uh, micro center for under $450. So you're looking at about the same price as what you'd be paying for, let's say a 6600. The efficiencies are going to be a little bit better on the 6600, but your hash rate, particularly as uh, on, on Flux, is going to be a bit higher. So again, it's a, an interesting trade-off and an interesting thing to consider when you're looking about what graphics card to buy now. The 2060 is very appealing to me. As I mentioned, I do already own one, and uh, I will certainly consider buying another one in the future. All right, uh, if you found this video to be helpful or informative, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future content. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really do appreciate it. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you again real soon.